The first shaburi is a basic shoman or straight cut. Cut down remembering shoulders, elbows and wrists with a ringing motion as if you were flinging something off the tip of the bokken and let your hips return to their triangular position. Finish with the bokken in front of your centre. Always cut with relaxed shoulders. Second suburi. From the ready position, step back deeply with the right foot and raise the sword so that the left hand is just above the forehead. Ensure that the left hip is turned forwards. Step forwards, drop into the right hip and perform a shaman cut. The third suburi. This is sometimes referred to as the sword of universal key. Starting as in the second saburi, this time the sword raise pauses very briefly above the head, whilst the intake of breath draws in the key. It is useful to visualise the energy flowing down into the bokken from above in a great spiral. Then the breath is dropped down to the centre as the sword is laid down, so that it is almost resting on the right hip. This is called waki kamai. Step forward with the right foot, drop the right hip in and perform a showman cut, making sure the sword comes directly down the centre line and with a big ki-ai. Fourth suburi. Starting again as in the second suburi, step forwards on the right foot to perform a showman cut. Now step forwards with the left foot and perform a showman cut. During each step, ensure the hips are fully engaged. Continue this process while alternating the feet. This may be performed walking forwards or on the spot with alternating feet. Fifth Suburi. Start as in the second Suburi, stepping forwards onto the right foot to perform a shaman cut. As the left foot starts to step forward, drop the tip of the bokken down to the right hand side whilst lifting the hilt up to the forehead. Continue bringing the tip of the bokken around behind the head, then cut down through the centre. Now drop the tip of the bokken down to the left side and repeat as before, stepping forwards on the right foot. At the end of each step, ensure the hips are fully engaged. Alternate left and right in this way. This also may be performed walking forwards or on the spot with alternating feet. Sixth Saburi. This Saburi is the same as number five but with one addition. In between each cut, slide forward slightly and perform a suki on that side. The suki is a thrust to the midsection with the tip of the bokken. Slide forward slightly with the front foot and turn the blade so that it faces the opposite side from the front foot. For example, a right suki has the right foot forwards and the blade facing left. Again, alternate left and right in this way whilst advancing forwards. Seventh Suburi. As in the sixth saburi, but this time the sukib movement is performed on the opposite side to the cut, i.e. cut on the right foot, suki on the left foot, etc. Repeat whilst advancing forwards. <laughs> 